So I wanted to focus on extraneous load because it's one of the types of cognitive loads that can be manipulated. Um, and specifically the effect that I wanted to explore was the split attention effect. And that happens when the information that you're trying to convey comes from multiple sources and rather than present it in a cohesive way, we instead uh, keep those sources separate, forcing the learner to waste their cognitive resources by locating that information or attempting to understand uh, those two pieces of information rather than being able to um, have all the information presented to them in a cohesive um, format in front of them. Uh, so a good example of this would be right now. Uh, so like a PowerPoint presentation or a video chat, having a lot of words on the screen while an individual is talking means that you're splitting your attention from trying to read the text and listen to the speaker at the same time. And you're only going to be able to do so much. So rather than forming the schema of what it is I'm trying to present, you are instead either reading the text or listening to me, but you're not able to do both perfectly. So uh, since this happens to all of us, either as teachers or as students, when we're struggling to keep up with whatever it is the teacher is saying, um, one way we can uh, mitigate the split attention effect is either by integrating information into one cohesive unit, such as combining pictures and text, uh, or to uh, have smaller, to use text sparingly or use smaller chunks of information to convey.